Good morning, Year 4. I hope everyone is doing great and uh, is very energetic after a restful uh, week of spring holidays. I hope you all had uh, quality time with your family members, uh, keeping in mind to stay safe and stay healthy. Well, um, today's recorded lesson is, as you can see on the screen, is about uh, negative numbers and along with it, we would introduce how they are going to be, uh, you know, with the positive numbers as well. So let's begin our today's lesson. So learning objectives for our today's lesson are that by the end, you should be able to recognize negative and positive numbers on a number line. And you should be able to solve a word problem involving negative numbers related to a real life situation. So let's introduce first the vocabulary which is related to the positive numbers. So positive numbers are numbers that are greater than zero and they are located to the right of zero just like this. This is our zero and these are our positive numbers. And we are very familiar with them because we use them in our daily life a lot, right? And we know how this goes on from 10 to 20 and from 20 to 30 and so on. And uh, we sometimes write it with a plus sign or sometimes we don't even write a sign. Still, we know that this is a positive number. For example, we can write it as plus 8 or 8. They are both referring to positive numbers. All right. Now let's see what exactly are the negative numbers. So the negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero. Yes, that is for sure. And they are located to the left of zero. So if this is our zero, so this will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight and minus nine and so on. Yes, it keeps on going to the left side of zero just like the positive number keep on growing on the right side of our zero. Now we use a minus sign to show that this is a negative number like minus 4 and minus 10. If, there is, if the number is negative we must write the minus sign with it. Just like in uh, you know in case of positive numbers we sometimes don't write the plus sign still we assume that this is the positive number. But with negative numbers, we must write a minus sign. And the greater the number, the lesser the value. For example, over here, I gave you an example of minus 10 and minus 4. So if it's minus 10, its value will be less than minus 4. All right. So this is the rule of negative numbers. For example, if my number is minus 20. So that would be less than minus 10 minus 10 would be less than minus 2 all right so basically uh, as the number gets bigger with the negative sign its value becomes less right so uh, we can count back to zero yes we know that when we are counting back for example 10 9 8 and then we count back up to zero what happens when we go below zero? So is that the lowest number we can count to? Well, that's not true as we have just seen that there are some negative numbers to the left of zero. So we can count below zero like this and they are called negative numbers. So it's minus one, minus two, minus three and up to minus 10. And we can count backwards from 10 positive 10 to negative 10 and there will be 20 numbers in between 10 numbers from 0 to 10 and 10 numbers from 0 to minus 10 right you can count from minus 10 to 10 you know you can pause my video and you can count it backwards or forwards it's up to you all right, and you can even count it without looking at a number line. You don't have to look at a number line. Right, so negative numbers are written with a small minus sign or a subtraction sign in front of the number like this, minus 9. So you might hear it pronounced as minus 9 for this reason. In maths, we say negative 9, right? 
and the numbers above zero are called positive integers and the numbers below zero are called negative integers so which of the oh sorry which of these numbers are negative integers can you tell them for example let's see where the numbers are okay we have a few numbers here okay so there is 0 and 2 and then we have a minus 9 or a negative 9 then we have a negative 11 over here and then we have a negative 5 and we have a 12 here so which number are negative numbers minus 9 negative 9 minus 11 or negative 11 and negative 5 so can you think of some some place or some time where you have actually seen a negative number if you have you can share it with a me when we have an online class or you can email it to me also when exactly you have seen a negative number you know in your daily life how would you explain what a negative number is to somebody who was not in this lesson yes how would you explain so for example if you would like to explain it to your younger sister or younger brother how would you tell them that there are numbers below zero what strategy would you use to explain it you can use a number line and you can show them that there are still numbers which are below zero and they are called negative numbers and they are written with a minus sign or a subtraction sign next to it all right all right let's do some hopping with these frogs so the frogs have lost some pieces of their number lines so let's see which numbers are missing hmm right well i can clearly see that if i start from zero it's one two three uh, uh, four is missing then five six seven eight is missing well, I solved the positive side of the numbers very easily. But what about the negative side? Hmm, what comes right next to the zero which is towards the left? The negative numbers start from what number? Hmm, looks like a minus one is missing. That's right. So just like this, we have done some hopping with the frogs. Right, how about we give it another go? Now you can pause my video here and try to, you know, fill the missing numbers on the number line. And this will include both the positive uh, integers and the negative integers. Well, that's right. Good job. You have done it amazingly. You know that the zero was missing. Now let's try another one. I know you can do this as well. Well, there are three of the positive integers missing and one of the negative integer is missing so it's going from minus one minus two minus three hmm what could the last number be give it a go yes and then check your answer that's right well done let's have another go now this one is minus 10 or negative 10 now you can pause my video here and try to work out the missing numbers all right okay then we have another one how you know that which numbers are missing on this number line well this one looks really really confusing to me but i know you can still do it you can locate where the zero should go and then from the left of zero your negative numbers start so from there you can take it and you can fill all of the empty spaces just pause my video and resume when you have your answers to check them well that you have resumed the video let's see the answers well done brilliant now this is for you to do from your student book page number 69 so we have some um, negative numbers and positive numbers number line and let's see if you're able to fill up the missing numbers here all right and remember there are a few numbers which don't have a jump of one for example in the first one i can clearly see that it is going on with the jump of one zero one two uh, there must be three over here and so on mm, what about this one the b looks like this is also a jump of one but look at c 
I think C has a jump of 50 integers in between two numbers. So you have to be very, very careful what two numbers you are going to write here in the missing spaces. Then you have to find out which numbers are missing here. First find out the size of the jump. So if you have 20, which is a positive 20, and then the next number is 40, what does that tell you? Hmm, the jump is of 20 numbers. So what do you think would go here next to 40? And then yet another one. And if you go backwards towards the left, what do you think would come here? And then the missing numbers will continue. Looks like we are in the negative numbers on this side. So give it a go and I'm sure you can do it. You just have to calculate the size of the jump. Right, and this is from your workbook, page number 39. You have to uh, do some more number lines. And over here, look at this boy. So he's trying to, looks like he's going somewhere using the elevator. So can you find out which floor is lowest in this elevator? Looks like he's standing at the ground floor. There are, how many floors in total? There are five floors in total. So which floor is the lowest in this elevator? Now think what I told you about the value of the negative numbers. The greater the number, the lesser the value. So just like that, you have to find out which floor is the lowest one. Right. Now let's assess our learning objectives. We are able to recognize negative and positive numbers on a number line. And we are able to solve the word problem involving negative numbers related to a real life situation. Let's link our lesson to Bahrain. But before that, let me tell you the core values for the month of April are principled and risk taker. Right, so coming back to our link to Bahrain, Bahrain has many high rise buildings. Do you think they have floors below ground level? Hmm. Have you visited a building in Bahrain which has floors marked with negative numbers? So this is something, you know, it's some food to food for thought, something to ponder upon. So uh, there are so many buildings and there are high rise buildings in Bahrain with lots and lots of floors, you know. So have you visited any building or if you haven't done, maybe you can ask your uh, brother or sister. Or maybe your parents, maybe they have visited some building with negative numbers on it, you know, in the lift. So do share your finding with, them, with me using an email or when we meet in the live session. With this, our lesson comes to an end and you did great. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and uh, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.